All right, I'm back. I'm a little late to the game here, but uh, better late than never. This is my guard. It's made out of expanded metal. And uh, hopefully that'll help keep the branches from hitting my radiator. A lot of people have been doing it. I've been meaning to do it. I just haven't. Seems like every time I leave the property, I forget to take this bumper with me to, to the shop. And uh, last time I went, I remembered. And I figured uh, what I'd do is what I did. A lot of people weld these on. And I'm thinking that if you weld them on and it gets damaged to the point where it has to be replaced, then you have to unweld everything and so on and so forth, put it back together. So what I did instead was I just took the expanded metal and bent it down. And I made, this is going to be what's going to hold it. Now these screws are going to go right through the openings here. And that way there, it'll hold it in place. And I think I, I think the four screws will do a real good job. And if I ever have to replace this again, it's going to be real easy. Just unscrew everything and put a new piece in. So that's my solution to it. Uh, if you want to stick around, I'm going to put it, bolt it together and, and put it on the tractor. If not, thank you for watching. Let's set this camera up here. This isn't threaded. Right. I'm going to put a lock washer and a nut on the back side. I was going to thread it, but uh, I just figured this would be just as easy. And with the lock washer, this thing should not vibrate free. And uh, as you notice, I'm not wearing white. I do have clothes that come in different colors. Tick season is just about over. So uh, I still may put white on. Uh, they're really comfortable to work with, those painter's pants. I figured this would be an easy way to replace it. Uh, I have a lot of this expanded metal, so I think what I'll do after I get this installed, and I'll just make a couple extra ones so I have them laying around with all my other junk. Uh, so if I do need to replace it, I don't have to go hunting for one or take the time to make it. Make one, I'll just be able to pop this off and put a new one on and as you notice the paint is being torn up uh, everything's still wet but I wanted to get this on I want to move some branches tonight we got a rain coming in so I really didn't have time to let this dry overnight or anything which I probably should have but it's not that big of a deal by the four screws in here pinching it real good it should hold up for quite a while take some abuse hopefully it doesn't take any abuse but if it does then I'm probably doing something I shouldn't be doing
I'll just repaint this one off camera. Oh, in case you're wondering, I did spray paint the inside of the hose that I drilled in here. It helps stop any rusting. So uh, I didn't leave them bare. You're still there, it's not going to be long now. It's my last one to tighten. I tightened the other side already. So I don't want to bore anybody any more than what I do. Set you up over here. Hopefully, you can see that. Oh, yeah, there's nothing like working with wet paint. your view. Let me rearrange that camera. I know I'm blocking your view. Sorry about that. is my rubber hose for my exhaust so it blows out this way rather than in on my FEL's arms showing this up in position I'm not going to bore you with me putting those nuts on the back of that. I think everybody knows how to put a nut on a screw. Well, that's it. That's what it looks like. Uh, I put a K in there in the center, but uh, it's not showing up. It's right here. Copied the one off the hood. Oh, by the way, uh, in case anybody's uh, wondering, I do have my lever. For the bucket, I do have that locked out, even though I'm here by myself. And I also put my 
safety stop in here. In one of my other videos, I showed showed it. Uh, all is a PCP pipe, PCP pipe, and just fits around like that. That way, there the arms can't come down on me. So that's about it on this one here. Well, as always, my videos are free. Thank you for watching.